Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nerd, and this is our fourth episode of the WoW Machinima Making. So, um, last time we left with Swifty here, uh, just waking up and stuff. Uh, what I did is, while we were gone, I took a picture, well actually, I frabs an uh, alarm bot from the Nomer region in uh, WoW Metal Viewer, and I just put it here. I uh, did the same thing, had the key light effect. This one was blue, so I just took the tool, hit blue. And there we go, so now we have an alarm clock, and uh, we have Swifty waking up. Someone in the comments suggests that we um, had a sword against the wall here, so that's what I'm going to do right now. In order to get items in the wall world viewer, you need to hit view and view items, because uh, those here aren't items. Some are, but whatever. <laughs> Redful, Gladiator, great sword, I think. Uh, yeah. Not that color though. Uh, was it red? Can't remember. Oh, anyway. We'll find out later on. Okay, so now it's time for the fraps thing. Or actually, you could just take a picture, but uh, I'm gonna use fraps because I'm that lazy. Alright, so we're back, and this is our footage. Well, actually, this is my whole folder. That's where I keep all the the file for this specific scene so I have a, like a folder for every scene I'm doing okay so here's our footage I'm gonna import it in here put into the the scene folder and just drag it in okay so same deal so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go on the alarm clock effects I'm gonna hit control C and then control V I'm just gonna copy paste my thing So now we can put this against the wall. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna hit W on, our, on the keyboard so we can rotate the thing. Here we go, we can just rotate like that. Someone's calling. Alright, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we're back. Uh, what I did is I rotated my, my sword and I'll scale it down a little bit to make it fit with the wall, kind of. So um, don't worry if it looks a, a bit messy, once we have the shadow and the color correction, it should look fine. Okay, so now what I feel like doing, we I think we're gonna make a window here. Make an actual window, not just this texture. So, we're gonna start by hiding everything on our picture, except this uh, background image. And then we're gonna zoom in on the window a little bit, and hit G on the keyboard. Or just click up here on the pen tool. So now we're gonna click all around the window to make a mask, just like this. And there we go. Okay, once we're done doing that, we're just gonna close our mask. And as you can see, you can only see the window from the background image so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit M on the keyboard while selecting the bed the JPEG thing hit M and now you see mask one add inverted so we're gonna check inverted and now we can we can see the rest um, yeah might wanna hit M twice so we can get to the mask feather option gonna have a little feather like five five pixel is that too much I don't yeah that's too much like two or one one should be fine okay so we're gonna turn back on our other things just with the alarm and stuff so that was a simple mask we're gonna go into advanced mask later on but uh, this was really simple so uh, if there's anything, if you're getting stuck somewhere, just leave a comment. I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.